<laughs> the latest poll from the Marquette Law School shows the candidates in the race for governor are tied. It's a situation that hasn't really changed much in the past couple of months. The man in charge of the poll, Charles Franklin, is here to break down the numbers for us. Good, Good to, to see you again, again sir. Charles. Good evening. Okay, let's start with registered voters. With registered voters, a dead even tie, 46 to 46. Okay. And that's changed a slightly. Little, a little bit of a shift. We have opposite shifts here. Among registered voters, Governor Walker was up by three a month ago, and now it's moved to a dead tie, an improvement for Burke. But likely we go, voters. We go to likely voters, and? Governor Walker is up by three, 49, 46. And that's an improvement for him from a Burke two-point advantage a month ago. Which is considered more important, registered well, voters or likely voters? Let me also say both are inside the margin of error. Right, so right. so they, it's technically it's a tie. Um, as we get closer and closer to the election, likely voters becomes better and better as a predictor. But people can vary over the next two months in their likelihood of voting. You get a little more enthused, you get a little less enthused. So that's something that can move around a lot. Uh, we'll keep presenting both numbers, but would give a little more emphasis to likely voters as we close in. And, and just before Election Day, likely voters would be the number we would emphasize. Okay. What does this tell you that for four months or so now that they have been steady in the margin of error for that entire time? I think that's fascinating because whether it's registered or likely voters, it's been inside the margin of error for four straight polls for us and about six polls by all the other organizations that have polled in the state. No one has had the race outside of the margin of error. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a little bit of an advantage for Walker, like it is right now. Sometimes it's a small advantage for Burke, as it was a month ago, and actually in July as well. So it, it, both of them are so close and it's so consistent and it hasn't trended that I think the clear idea here is this is a race with no clear front runner and no clear trailing candidate and it hasn't moved. It's been balanced over four months now. One of the things your polling did notice though was sort of a shift in momentum. Your earlier polling showed that Democrats seem to be more fired up and the latest poll seems to it seems to have switched. Republicans seem to be more fired up. Exactly and, and that's one of the really interesting things. In both July and August Democrats were a little bit more likely to say they were going to vote. In September, it was Republicans more likely to vote, and that shift corresponds to exactly the change we were just talking about, Walker doing better among likely voters now, uh, Burke doing better among registered voters. Uh, part of that is a concerted effort on the part of uh, the Walker campaign and his allies, who back in August started talking a lot about wor being worried that Republicans were too complacent, weren't fired up enough for this election, and therefore needed to get that way. Mm -hmm. Also, it corresponds to Governor Walker's positive ad campaign of the last month or so, in which he looks directly into the camera and presents his case. Uh, and so those ads may have had a positive effect on his supporters for that reason. Do these numbers also show you just how polarized the state is? We still see that the partisans are still going 90 plus percent for their party's candidate. Uh, that polarization provides a strong base for both parties. But the other thing that's developing is the sort of performance issues. You have a new jobs numbers today and another one tomorrow. Um, we've seen movement on those jobs numbers a bit in the poll with people, more people thinking we were lagging in August, that down a little bit in September, but now we have this new data out and what will happen with that. Also, the budget situation is now emerging as an issue. We're beginning to see a little bit of movement on that. And, you know, taxes, which are still out there, the direction of the state, those are things that still favor Governor Walker. It's going to be a busy seven weeks. New poll in two weeks? Pretty soon. All right. We'll Pretty see you soon. soon. See you then. <laughs> Thanks, Charles. Thank you, Charles.